Hello and welcome to This Is Not Live from Micro Center. Pre-recorded live from Micro Center, our fine sponsors. We're going to be talking about this, the brand new Lenovo Legion Go. Handheld PC gaming devices have been sprouting up left and right. We have, I mean, obviously the Steam Deck. We have the RG Ally. We have... 34,000 Ioneos. Yep. I don't count the Nintendo Switch. And then now we have the Legion Go from Lenovo. So we're doing this before the actual release. Yep. So by the time you're watching this video, you can go down to your friendly local Micro Center and pick up a Legion Go. And Legion, then, go down to Micro Center there you go. That's and better. pick it up. For the time that I've spent with that, I know your thoughts. We specifically not talked about because we wanted to save it for the video. Yeah. I am impressed in a way that I thought I wasn't going to be. When I first saw this, I was like, Oh, I get it. You know, you've obviously got the Z1 Extreme. You've got like the performance, but the sort of main selling point, or at least the thing that sort of jumps out most, I think, is the fact that the controllers are detachable. The first thing I have to say about it is it is a beefcake with a capital B E E F. It is big. It is chunky. I felt right at home with this in my hand. <laughs> Matt's reaction was, oh, that's really neat. Mine was, this is too big and heavy. I've since sort of softened a little bit on that. There are some compromises with this. So while having a super high resolution display is not nice. The only downside there is that you're not really going to be able to play any games at 1600p. No. Same deal with the 144 hertz. That is terrific to have, but keep in mind that this is a handheld PC. And a lot of titles, I was capping it at 30 FPS at something close to like 1080p or 1200p and using like FSR or using some kind of like upscaling to kind of get up to a decent visual resolution. Now, the main reason why I will say the 1600p is nice is because it is a exact scale from 800p. Yeah. So if you're going to be playing games at 800p, which is the same resolution as the Steam Deck, what you get is a very clean linear scale. Not the most important thing in the world, but especially no, but like, using windows and stuff. Like it's, it's sharp. It's easy to be snobby display. about being like, oh, I don't want to play at 800p. But when you have this nice scale down, 800p looks really nice. But you're pushing more frame rate, right? I was, yeah. Like, yeah. I was looking at, like, more, like, 45 I'm locked. playing, like, Cyberpunk locked at 30, and I'm just trying to turn some settings up. But that's yeah. the thing. You have more flexibility. And I will say, regardless of whatever you want to do with the resolution and the frame rate, the display itself is leagues better than most other oh, yeah. portable. Be be like, the be the really best nice. on a handheld I've seen by, by far. I'm really excited for when we actually have not out of date drivers and see what this can really do if it's already doing this now well, the z1 extreme is fairly well understood at this point so you've got yeah. eight cores you've got quite decent rdna graphics like there's certainly a lot of performance on deck and importantly the legion go is well cool now again a lot of caveats here because we don't have those final drivers but like i have never had that fan speed to be egregious it's no. been nice and cool to the touch at least for all of the actual touch points because those controllers are that's, physically that, detached yeah, like that's, they never get hot they never get too right. toasty as much as i love the um the chunkiness the controllers have almost no heft to them when it's all one package it's very well balanced these just almost feel too lightweight well, it's because you're holding something that's so heavy yeah so when you flip over to it they're so light what do you think about the actual um the vertical mouse because I found that that is actually in my opinion really cool so what Austin is talking about there is it comes with this little magnetic disc and what you can do is put this in mouse mode there's a switch here lock that in there and you can move this now like a mouse you have your right button your click button I have an issue with the version we have so the little nubbin for the the joystick kind of sticks in your hand unless you take it out, which doesn't feel like it's supposed to come out. The way it's meant to be used is that you pop it off and you can use the other controller in your one hand for navigation and this one to actually look around and to... to so you're kind of getting the best of both worlds of like, yes. everyone knows that movement is best on a joystick, yeah. but shooting and aiming is best on a mouse. So if you're playing like whatever FPS you want to do, you're getting the best of both worlds there. And it works really well. I personally don't like the buttons on the back. That's not a legion thing that's more of a pro controller thing yeah. of just like it's really easy to accidentally hit these buttons but you know what i do actually appreciate is the difference in controls at first when i tried this i was like oh why are the controls different because when you look at it there are buttons on the back but each one is slightly sort of unique so yeah. the right one has two buttons here and it has a little wheel which is kind of interesting. But once I get used to it, especially with the touchpad, I find that using the touchpad to navigate Windows actually really pretty solid, especially mm -hmm. for certain PC games that while they have optimizations for controls, you can use the mouse cursor as well. So it's easier to kind of like fly and like change some settings or whatever as I'm sort of tweaking and tuning things. There's something to this form factor. And I think in the year of 2023, we're starting to see it mature to a point where it's really good. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, it's it's it feels right in a way that some of the earlier versions of this kind of form factor were quite not there. Right. And I appreciate some of the stuff they're doing. Mind you, 
certainly not perfect. I would love for them to make the um, the wireless controllers a little bit more of a, like a solid kind of click. I'm always like, oh, are they on, are they off? Like it's a little bit vague. Literally the click, there is none. It's subtle. It's, yeah, it's just, you know, it's- It, it takes a minute. It doesn't line up. You have to kind of like take it halfway through and then slide it up. There you That's go. It's a very, very small click. It is worth mentioning the storage. So the Legion Go, we've got the 512 gig model, which of course is available by the time you're watching this video at your friendly local micro center, but you may want more storage than that. So actually they have a deal going on right now where if you buy yourself an SSD at micro center, they can actually upgrade it for you. Now mind you, if you go over to the main channel, I've actually done a video where I've upgraded the Legion Go and done it all myself so you can find out how to do it. But if you're near a micro center, they can hook you up and help you do that SSD a lot easier. All right, let's talk about software. Let's talk about the software. You're gonna talk about Legion Space, right? Can I actually tell you something? Tell me about Legion Space. So we've been passing this back and forth, right? So we got it for a little while now. Matt had it for a week. I picked it back up again last night. Last night, I downloaded an update to Legion Space, which completely changed the UI. And I'm realizing that okay. what we were working with before was the very early beta version. Yeah. Look at Legion Space now. Uh, again, early beta stuff, but uh, it is, completely different on the UI. And I actually think it's pretty nice. Legion Space is a spot where you can go in and change your settings, change your sort of TDP and your fan profiles. And you can also launch your games directly through that. Although of course you're free to use Steam Big Picture mode or whatever you'd want to do. Obviously we don't have right. any footage of this, so apologies. Can you explain what Legion Space was in that early build that we had? It was just like a void <laughs> of like, I feel like this derails a lot of my argument here. Because like, <laughs> you it, fell into it, my trap card. It took me like, you know, way too long to figure out like how to like navigate this thing, to adjust yeah. these settings, because it was like, all right, you know, compared to the Steam Deck, there's just a button you press. Yeah. Now there's a button that you press. And it goes. Again, like, <laughs> we've got this early. By the time you're watching this video, all yeah. the software will already either be loaded or available as updates and stuff. So we're kind of giving you our sort of first impressions as we go through it. And again, I still want to actually see it with the final drivers, which yeah. we do not have as a recording this. But so, performance was good enough and the software has been performing well enough, especially with that new Legion Space upgrade. I'm actually really happy with where it's at right now. I'm just looking at like the evolution we've seen in the last year of these handhelds. I feel like we, we went so fast so quickly, but I feel like we are kind of already at like a somewhat of a wall. These things are amazing right yeah. now. Yeah. But like how much better can they get with our current thermal performance or like battery performance? You're always like gonna be constrained. Any of these portable systems are always going to have to run a significantly lower yeah. TDP and everything compared to your full desktop PC. Like that's always just gonna be a trade-off that you have. I would argue that the AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme inside of this is a terrific trade-off. It'll pull, you know, 20 plus watts, and yeah, the fan will crank, but even when this is at full, full tilt, in my opinion, it's not offensive. And when you are got it on like more like the balance setting, which is what I spent the vast majority of my time doing, it's really nice. Like it is completely a reasonable trade-off. The fan's not too loud, doesn't get too hot. Battery life again is not like amazing, but even with this early software, the battery life is still equivalent to what I've seen on the other, well, like, you know. You know where battery life is is amazing on these things is oh. when you use them as a retro console yeah and like emulator i mean i played <laughs> granted it was a game boy color game but i played that for hours and it barely touched like well, and that's actually a good point if you're ever playing a little bit of a lighter title so something yeah. that's not super graphically demanding you can turn the settings up you can turn the frame rate up to experience the full 144 hertz you can do the full 1600p i'm gonna make my list here of okay these are the super minor nitpicks go for it that i would want Moving forward, I would love removable uh, uh, joysticks. I would like these buttons to be less um, accidentally clickable, mm -hmm. uh, but that's that's my per, uh, preference for like the um, uh, for upgrading the, the SSD. I'd love if they could hide like a like a mm. slot in the back here or something like that, so it's a little bit easier. Well, luckily your but, like, friends at Micro Center are happy to do it for you. Exactly. But what are your ultimate thoughts on the Legion Go. I think this is the best handheld on the market. Okay, I agree. I wouldn't mind using this as my laptop. Bigger, more powerful, yes. running windows, more expensive. It is a, a step up in some ways. I Again, I want to be kind of careful because I still love the Steam Deck. I don't want to like put that down in any way whatsoever. But I think this is a little bit of a different market. And I think that the Legion team, they may not have been first with the Z1 Extreme, but I kind of think they did it better. I'm being honest. They may not have been first, but they certainly weren't last. Let us know what you think about the Legion Go. And if you're interested in checking this out in person, make sure to stay tuned. There's a brand new Micro Center opening in Charlotte, North Carolina in early 2024, where I'm sure they'll have the Legion Go and thousands and thousands of other products stocked and ready for your tech enjoyment. And if you sign up with the link in the description when the store opens, you get a free 128 gig flash drive. So check that out. And until next time, 
Matt, do you want to be really loud in Micro Center and make everyone stare at you? Please do it. I want to watch. Let's go, Legion Go! I demand all of you customers look at me. All of you customers.